Hey guys, Mark McMahon, Mark McMahon Real Estate. Today, I wanna talk about how to find and fund deals. It is the most important thing that you can learn, bar none, there's nothing else out there that you need to learn to begin with other than those two things, finding the deal and funding the deal. So let's just jump right into it, okay? When Yuko and I, my wife, got started in real estate investing, one of the things we didn't have was money. We had no money, and the other thing we didn't have was any experience. So what we did, was we went to an investment club and we signed up for a deal finding course. So what does that mean? All we did was learn how to find deals, how to write offers and get deals under contract. We actually ended up getting two deals during that 60 day period. We learned a massive amount from that. Now we didn't learn how to flip. We didn't learn how to buy and hold. We didn't learn how to fund deals. We just simply learned how to find them. And I'm so glad that we did that first. The second thing we did was take a course on private money. And that is how we started funding our own deal. So when we were doing the previous course, we were uh, simply finding deals for somebody else. They weren't for us because we didn't have any money or the wherewithal to take them down. And now we understand that pretty much anybody can do it. You just have to know some secrets and you know they're, that are not such secrets anymore. And then you can actually do it yourself too. But the first thing we started off doing was making offers and we made a lot of them. And that's exactly how you're gonna get started if you haven't started yet. You're gonna be making a lot of offers. And there's different things that you can do. So let's go to the whiteboard and we'll go over the different types of things that you can do to get offers out and the different ways that you can actually find the deals in the first place, all right? We'll go over what we use the most, what we use the least, and where we actually have the most luck. So the way to find deals is to actually make offers. But where do you find the houses to make offers on? So 75%, guys, and I'm not kidding with this, 75% of our deals come from the MLS. So MLS can be Redfin. You can use that as a resource. You can use Zillow. Everything that goes on MLS, which is, what, what is MLS? That's the multiple listing service. That is where real estate agents post their listings. So that all goes on the MLS, but you don't have access to the exact MLS that us real estate agents do, unless you're a real estate agent. You've got access to Redfin and Zillow. So as soon as it's posted here, almost immediately, it's posted on Redfin and Zillow. So most of our students will use Redfin and Zillow to make their MLS offers. So what you're going to do on MLS is you're going to look for deals that look really bad, generally speaking. You wanna look for properties that have been on the market for a long time. You wanna look for properties with really lousy pictures. You wanna look for properties that other people aren't gonna want. And as time goes on, as we go through the cycles of real estate, when it's a really up market, it's harder to find those deals. But when it starts sliding down and it gets towards the bottom, it gets much easier. So it depends on where you're at on that scale. You know, right now, as we speak, uh, December of 2022, we're on our way down and deals are starting to get easier to find. But still, even on a hot, hot market, 75% of our deals are coming from MLS. So never discount that. The other ways that we can do it is what we call cold outreach. Now, cold outreach is cold calling, hence cold, right? Texting and door knocking and driving for dollars, right? So cold calling is an excellent way to get deals. We get about 25% of our deals through this method. So we get about 25% of our deals between number two and number three, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Cold calling requires typically for you to buy a list, have it skip traced, and then get a dialer and start making phone calls. What is a dialer? A dialer is a machine or it's an uh, online equipment that you can use to dial multiple numbers at a time because you're gonna get a lot of people that don't answer. So it's gonna call 10 numbers at a time and maybe one person will answer. And then you'll talk to them, right? Texting goes out to everybody. We've gotten a good response on that, but just keep in mind, it's becoming somewhat gray as far as legalities in most states, a lot of states. So check into your state and see how they feel about texting, blanket test texting. Door knocking is amazing, right? Because you're belly to belly, that's what we call it, belly to belly with the person on the other side of the door, and you can actually get their reaction, engage it, and see the house and, and, and all these things. And we've actually gotten deals from door knocking. Typically, uh, we will do our door knocking and our texting and our cold calling 
from our driving for dollars. We use an app called Deal Machine. At the end of this, you'll be able to see a place where you can get a seven day free trial for Deal Machine. I strongly suggest you try it. I want everyone to start off with that one app. I don't want them to spend a lot of money on expensive cold calling lists and texting and all these other things that you can spend three or $4,000 a month on. This is much less expensive and it does everything that this does, just not the same volume. So what you're gonna do when you're doing all of this, you're gonna drive for dollars, meaning you're gonna look or go around, drive around, look for bad houses, houses that look like they need a lot of repairs. You're gonna skip trace this on the Deal Machine app. You're gonna cold call them first, then you're gonna text them, then you're gonna door knock them, all right? The last thing you're gonna do is door knock them. If you don't get a hold of them, you're gonna door knock them. And this is the way I want you guys to begin because it's the best way to learn how to deal with people. So what's gonna happen is eventually you're probably going to hire someone to make phone calls for you. But what happens when those calls start coming in and you don't know how to close them? Now you're wasting all of this money, time and effort on something that you're not succeeding at. Set yourself up for success by trying driving for dollars first and learning all these techniques, learning what to say. You know, our students know all that because we have scripts and things like that, but there are a lot of resources online. If you can't do our course, then there's a lot of other resources. I have over 2,000 videos on Instagram and a couple of hundred videos on YouTube that talk about a lot of these things. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is relationships. Relationships are my favorite source of deals. Because I've been in this business so long, I have all of my deals come from relationships. Now, those can be from real estate agents, it can be attorneys, it can be friends, family, everybody knows what I do now. That's one of the reasons I do so much social media and why you should too, is you wanna drive those relationship-driven deals to you. You need to keep talking about what you're doing all the time. That way these relationship-based leads will come to you. That's where I get all of my personal deals. Now, like I said, we get other deals from other sources, but me personally, it's people coming to me they bring me the deal. I no longer look for deals anymore. That's the way it should be eventually for you, okay? But still, all in all, this accounts for 25% of all of our deals. Up here, the MLS making offers to real estate agents up here accounts for 75% of our deals. So this is a place where you wanna spend a lot of time. However, I want you to spend an equal amount of time with this because this is how you're going to learn to deal with this, right? You're gonna to have to learn to talk to real estate agents and title reps and all these other people that are involved in deals and you need to close that deal, right? When you're talking to a real estate agent, you need to understand exactly how to talk to them so that you understand how to get your deals. And by getting comfortable talking to people here, you'll get better and better up here. Guys, I want you to do this. My Deals to Profit Mastermind is going to be open for business again in January. It's the third one we're doing and it grows every time. If you guys are interested, there's a link below to get on the wait list. And again, guys, if you can't do it this time, I totally get it. That doesn't mean I want you to stop learning. Stay watching my Instagram, stay watching my YouTube, stay watching my TikTok. Guys, I will teach you everything. The mastermind just kind of wraps it all up and ties a bow around it. But you will learn what you need to learn by watching all the material I've got. Have an amazing day. I wish you the most success and I'll see you next time.